Hi everybody, my name is Nate Chamberlain and this video is going to show you how by using a new feature in Microsoft Flow we're able to convert SharePoint documents into a PDF. So uh, this is useful uh, for cases where we're tracking minutes in a private team site, so a collaborative environment, and um, we basically just want to come in here to the properties of those minutes once we've approved them, click publish, and then see them automatically converted to PDF when we save. And then that PDF, we can actually post in a completely different site collection or a different site. Uh, so we're going to post that PDF into our company intranet, into this completely separate document library. So uh, to get started, start a blank uh, flow and go ahead and give it a name. We'll say convert doc to PDF here. And your trigger is going to be SharePoint. And we're looking for the one here that says when a file is created or modified, properties only, because we really just care about that checkbox that we have that says publish. Okay, so find your site or paste the URL. And then we're looking for the library name. For me, it's documents. And then new step, add a condition. So here's where we're gonna say if publish is equal to true, and I'm just gonna check it in advanced mode. Uh, sometimes it'll add single quotation marks around the word true. If that happens to you, just take those out and then you'll see this uh, purple true with the function, you'll know it's working. Uh, so now we're saying if publish is equal to true, we wanna add an action. And the first thing we need to do uh, is get the file content of the one that we're, since we've already gotten the properties, we just need to say, uh, what's the content? So we're looking at SharePoint again, and we're going to get file content. Okay, so site address will be the same. And the file identifier, when you click there, you should be able to find underneath the when a file is created or modified section uh, identifier. Let's so go ahead and pick that. And then what do you do not show again there? It's just letting us know that that's an optional field, which could cause the flow to error. Uh, and then we're going to add an action. So now that we have the file that we just marked publish, we're ready to put it somewhere else. Uh, and for this flow to work, we need it to go to OneDrive for Business. So pick OneDrive for Business, and then we're going to create a file. And I have a folder I use for workflows uh, in my OneDrive for Business called uh, WF something. So that's a good prefix just to put on any folder you have, just so you can easily find things that are just used in uh, workflow. So in this case, we've got workflow cabinet notes. And then the file name, we're going to keep the same. So I'm going back to the properties one, and I'm looking for name, because I want to keep that the same. And then maybe I want to add a date or something, or you could add the group name. Uh, so in this case, I have a field called calc date, which is year, month, day, which is nice. So I'm going to make a new name. And then the file content, I'm going to just map over from this get file content step. So now I've created the one in OneDrive for Business. Now I'm going to convert it to PDF. So this is the new step, it's exciting. We'll do add an action. We're looking for, you can just type convert. It's probably the fastest way to find it. And then we're looking for this OneDrive for Business convert file. Okay, and the unit unique identifier of the file would be the one we just created. So look for that create file heading and then find the identifier or the ID and then the target type PDF. So that's the only option we have right there right now unless you enter a custom value and that's exactly what we want. So that's fine. So uh, we've converted the file. Now we're ready to create the new file back in SharePoint. So, um, oh, and let's not forget, so back here on create file, you have to put the document extension or it's not going to work. So in this case, we know it's always going to be docx for our minutes. So make sure you put the dot docx there. And then I just remembered that because we're going to have to do that again here with the SharePoint step. So choose an action, SharePoint. This is going to seem kind of familiar because we just did it. Go into create file. And then site address will be the same again. The folder path will be a little bit different this time because we're choosing a different library here. 
So this one is actually called archive for me. And the file name is going to be the same as the one we created in OneDrive. Um, and then I'm going to put that calc date in there. And then this one is going to be .pdf. So don't forget to put your .pdf in there. Then the content of the file. So we've got this convert file step, file content. So that's our PDF. And then after this, since we've already created the PDF, you've got some other options. Like let's say you had column data from your original file that you want to make sure is in the copy of the file or the PDF of the file. Uh, we'll have to do another SharePoint step. And this time we're going to update the file properties. So look for update file properties. And then we'll do the same site. We'll do the same library as the new one. So for me, that's company documents. We're in the public one now. And then the ID, there we go, is from the one that we just created. So we're looking for this create file to step. We've got the item ID. And then we want to make sure that we get the meeting date to carry over. So we're going to go, we're looking for the original file. So when a file is created or modified step, and then we're looking for the meeting date field and put that in there. All right, so we've got that. And then the last thing you could do if you wanted is uncheck the publish box, but you can figure that out. If you have any questions, let me know about that. So we're gonna go ahead and create that flow. And then to test it, let's come over here to our minutes. We'll go to edit the properties, click check for publish and save. And then the nice thing about flow is we can watch it to see if it works. It's thinking, it's checking the condition, it's getting the file content, created the files, and then it updated the properties. And all that happened right around 10 seconds. So it's a lot quicker than saving a file as PDF and re-uploading. Uh, and then we can check our company documents here to see how that looks. There we go, minutes. I could put a space there if I wanted, tried that. Uh, and then it's the PDF file type. And let's go ahead and open that and see how that looks. There we go, it looks perfect. That's exactly how it should have looked in the original. Here's the Word doc version. There we go, and we're good to go. So good luck with your uh, cases. If you have any specific questions in your environment, uh, feel free to share those in the comments and I'll help as best I can. Thanks for watching.